energy gang how y'all doing it's hella late and i'm making daddy well not making i asked him if he would grease my scalp i'm really sleepy but i don't know i don't know why i don't want to sleep but he's greasing my scalp what time is it daddy it's probably like almost maybe 11 o'clock at night maybe but yeah he's gonna grease my scalp daddy greased my scalp Oh, show them what we're using, baby. Grapeseed oil. <laughs> he said... <laughs> okay. He... I, I think he hates grease in my scalp, actually. Because <laughs> I think I asked him at weird times. But, okay, here we go. Do you like greasing my scalp? I thought you said I wouldn't have to participate. I didn't say that you didn't have to participate. I said you don't have. I said you don't have to pay attention to the camera. No. I didn't say you didn't have. <laughs> you are participating. You're doing my scalp. Okay. You're greasing my scalp. Do you like doing it? I <laughs> Good answer. Uh -huh. Y'all, he always, every time my hair is in protective styles, he's the one to grease my scalp. If he's not here, say, and I know he's just like super duper exhausted or something like that, and he's just working long shifts or working seven days a week or something like that, I'll be wanting to ask him to do it, but I'm like, no, nah, he's tired. I'm not going to ask him to do it. But then, and hopefully he's not making no faces because I can't really see y'all without my glasses. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Everything's blurry. But he does a really good job. He thumbs up to bed. He do, he do pretty good. He do real good. That's why I keep asking him. He does so well. Like I said, I have no idea. What you doing? I was making sure you. I didn't know. I don't know what you're doing. Y'all, I'm, yeah, I'm, blind, I'm blind. I'm blind as a bat. Okay. <laughs> he loved me. He. I think so. Yeah, I think he loved me. Yeah. Uh, he does like stuff like this. Nah, he loved me. I know he do. Cause ain't no man just gonna put up with half of the stuff I be doing it's not a lot it's not like a lot of stuff it's more it's wrong it's a bad timing kind of thing i think because when i feel, feel an urge to do something i'm like oh, can you do this? he actually says no and i go okay and i go get it anyway and then i'll say can you reach my scalp he goes no I go, all right i'll be back and he said i said no and i'll come, go, come back with the oil and this is what we do That's exactly what we do. Yeah, we're feeling so good. update guys the lg clothes or the lg mobile clothing closet went so well this upcoming tuesday um which is i believe the 13th um we are going to be back at ignite dfw and in fort worth and um do another mobile clothing closet so shout out to them they gave us our own clothing closet actually closet so after that i'm gonna like fold the clothes things of that nature and then put it in the closet the actual closet um so if y'all guys want to donate um just email me uh all of my social medias and everything will be in this description box y'all i'm excited about that and every time i go 
um, and post up. Like I said, this is my second time. But the first time I post up, as you guys seen, if you've seen that video, if you haven't, go check it out. But um, just the feeling that I got in my heart, um, just knowing where we came from, just to be able to just give and with the open heart, like, and I don't want anything in return. I love the feeling that I get um, just to give it. So in just watching the young, you know, ladies and it, it was a man that got his, his jeans too. And just watching him come in there and them shop through the clothes and the shirts and the sweats, the pants, all that. It was just a good feeling and to be able to see or and to be able to watch my daughter watch other people that's in need or not other people, but people that are in need be so appreciative to receive her things, you know, so and Kelly and I had a conversation after that and I'm just really proud of Kelly and actually proud of Mike and I um, for raising such a I guess humble daughter. Um, she's very, she's adulting very well. Like I expect a twenty year old to do twenty year old things every once in a while, you know. But she bump her head. She only bump her head once, and she keep going. You know, she might bump her head on something else, but she learns from it, and it's just confirmation as parents that, you know. All the doubting that we may have done since she was, what, a year and a half? That's when we, yeah, a year and a half. That's when we got together. And before then, I was just teaching her, you know, just kind of like, don't touch the hot stove or stuff like that. You know, just teaching her little things and kind of guiding her. But when Mike and I got together, we were really trying to set down a really strong foundation. And uh, up there on Kelly, she's doing very well. School's going good. Um, job's going good. She's doing her damn thing, so. G2. Moving on up. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, you passed me. Sorry. Oh, I'm almost done, baby. I'm gonna start moving and moving. Did she get raped or something or beat up? They got into it. Her and the girl? Her and the daughter. Yeah, but I thought that it was her and that one light skinned girl, you know? Did you grease my edges? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you did. Hey, guys. That was Bub greasing my scalp. Oh, I'm making glasses on because I don't even know if I'm looking at y'all. Look out. Bub, please. Mm. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. He is so good. So I'm about to go put my head wrap on. Here we go. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Mm, thanks, folks. Two, two. All right. Got it. There. All right. It's better lighting in here, y'all. But he went ahead and hooked me up. And I'm about to put my head wrap on. I'm not going to do nothing to these edges. Just let them. Oh, I'm going to put a little bit. No gel or nothing. Ooh, squeeze me. Hold on. Some sachet oil on my edges just because 
it's been working for me and I'm not gonna continue. I'm gonna not gonna stop doing what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do just so y'all can see the back so I won't be any color better with the white background. Okay, so I'm just gonna, like I said, shake it up very well, put it in my little dropper and then just put it on my edges, put it on my edges. Um, and then just, I soaked them. Soaked him. I didn't have to get on my foreheads. Okay. But do you have my wraparound or no? Okay, let me see. I might have one in there. Yep. I think I left it in there, but I have plenty of them in this drawer. So I'm just gonna flip like I always do, y'all be saying and then flip and put my hair in a bun. Don't care how it looks, just because I'm getting in the bed. So and then I'm just gonna twist it. Bam. All right. And then hopefully I got another wraparound because how I twisted my yep. How I twisted my hair up. It'll be down in the morning. Slapping my husband in the face. <laughs> I hope you guys heard me goes. Say it again. It slap you in the face? <laughs> it slaps him in the face. He's just bowed. I'm like, oh. I be asleep because so I don't be knowing. Okay. So then y'all know. Start in the back. So yeah, guys. That is it. Just scalp. Protection. And yeah, thanks to Mr. Go Re. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Share. Um, if you're new to my channel, what's up? Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the LG gang. And like I always say, until next time, peace out.